Hey there, ever wondered if skipping a few meals could actually help you live longer? It sounds almost too good to be true, right? Well, today we're diving deep into the science of intermittent fasting and longevity, separating fact from fiction. You've probably heard the buzz about intermittent fasting or IF from celebrities, health gurus, and maybe even your fitness obsessed friend. But this isn't just another trendy diet. There's some fascinating science behind it. Let's break down what intermittent fasting actually is. Think of it as more of an eating pattern than a diet. You're not changing what you eat, but when you eat. Imagine your day as a clock. In the popular 16-8 method, you'd eat during an 8-hour window and fast for 16 hours. Some people prefer the 5.2 approach, eating normally 5 days a week and reducing calories for 2 days. Or there's alternate day fasting, where you switch between normal eating days and fasting days. But here's where it gets really interesting. What's happening in your body during these fasting periods is pretty remarkable. When you fast, you're essentially giving your cells a chance to take out the trash. Scientists call this process autophagy. It's like your body's cleanup crew, clearing out damaged cells and proteins that could cause problems as you age. Think of it like spring cleaning for your cells, just like you wouldn't keep adding more stuff to your house without occasionally clearing out the old. Your body needs time to clean up and repair. During fasting, your cellular maintenance systems kick into high gear. Your mitochondria, the powerhouses of your cells, become more efficient, and your DNA repair mechanisms get a boost. And we're seeing some promising results in research. Studies in animals have shown that various forms of fasting can extend lifespan by up to 30%. In humans, we're finding that IF can improve markers of aging like inflammation levels, insulin sensitivity, and heart health. But here's the thing, it's not a magic bullet. The benefits seem to depend a lot on doing it right and being consistent. It's also not for everyone. Pregnant women, people with eating disorders, or those with certain medical conditions should definitely steer clear. If you're intrigued by intermittent fasting, start small. Maybe try a 12-hour overnight fast first, then gradually extend it if it feels right. Listen to your body and remember, the best longevity strategy is one you can stick with long-term. The bottom line? While we need more long-term human studies, the evidence suggests that intermittent fasting, when done properly, could be a powerful tool in our longevity toolkit. It's not just about living longer, it's about living healthier, with more energy and vitality as we age.